Okay. Um, once again, I will come you to today's lesson or today's class. Mm -hmm. So I'll start with my first uh, teaching aid. My apologies, my phone does not allow to put more than one teaching aid. So I'm putting one one at a time. So uh, I'm sure everyone is able to see this. To those who are joining us, you are welcome. Uh, I hope I'll be fast so that we can finish in time. Uh, today we're looking at uh, body hygiene. Body hygiene. Uh, the way we keep our body, hygiene. I'm sure everyone knows this term. Uh, in Lulwale, I'm not sure, but I don't know if you are able to correct us in Lulwale. I use the Kwaisa Chamujimba or the other term we can use Kulama Mujimba, keeping your board. Kulama Mujimba is keeping your board. Now, they, in English, they categorize it to be body hygiene. So in Lulwale, we can say Kulama Mujimba or Kwaisa Mujimba. Mr. Nalole, please, I will need your guidance here in case there will be some more corrections. So, oh, um, I like, know like I do know. always, my man. I'm saying on body hygiene, are we correct with the why some why such a Body hygiene. 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 Okay, to So, like I said, body hygiene na yapwa muluvale kulama mujimba. How you are keeping your body? That's kulama keeping. Oh, kuwahi sa mujimba. How you are Kiso. your body always? Kisu. Uh, Can you bring some papa? Who is that? that? Uh, Mulongeshi, I think you can mute, <laughs> mute participants. <laughs> okay, Mr. Chinyemba, your mic is on. Please, kindly, we are testing if you can. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Chinyemba. Now, I will come you, those who have just joined us. We are looking at body. Sorry, body. thank you. Saying... Okay, okay. Uh, today we are looking at body hygiene, kulama mujimba, or kuwahisa mujimba. How you are keeping your body, na mwaku ulamina. How you are keeping it and how you are cleaning it like. So but in English is body hygiene, but in Lulwale, the word hygiene is not really categorized exactly, but there is kulama mujimba or kuwahisa mujimba. There is a term which Mr. Nalue brought, kulikangula. Kulikangula is being health. That's kulikangula. Yeah, Mujimbo wami mm, walikangula, meaning I'm health. Yeah, so kulikangula is being health. So to start with, the first one we have got shaving hair. Shaving hair. Which others may call it, I've gone for haircut. I'm sure haircut is the style of your hair you're going to put. That's the what to call hair. That's the style of your hair. It's a haircut. But the I'm sure the original way of saying it is shaving hair, which is kuteula jikambu. Kuteula jikambu. That is shaving hair. Kuteula is shaving. Jikambu is hair. So kuteula jikambu is shaving hair. Next, uh, brushing teeth. Brushing teeth. Uh, Kukumba mazo. Kukumba mazo. Kukumba is brushing. Mazo is teeth. That's mazo. If it's wani, lizo. Lizo. That's but if it's, if they are many, that's mazo. So, brush, shaving beards. Shaving beards, kuteula wevu. If you check shaving hair and shaving beards, always about kuteula. 
so you are shaving but now what are you shaving exactly so shaving hair is kuteula jikambu shaving beards is kuteula wevu wevu is beards uh that's wevu ni lulale is beards so yeah well, yes. beards in english yes mr jason mulina chihula um ngachili yes. kuhanji na mustache Sorry? How do you say mustache? Mustache. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you able to, to write it in the chat? A mustache. Mustache. Maybe. Maybe in Zambian pronunciation. Oh, mustache. Okay. Uh, maybe I can come in on that one, matter. Okay, okay. Oh, thank you so much. Also wave. Yeah. Uh, next, I, I get to go right that wave. Most touch. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to wave. It's just a wave. Ah. Yes. Yeah, both the most yes, touch and the beard. Yes, Mr. Nalule. Okay, I was a bit late. I'm sure there's a... Uh, there's maybe a delay in the sound. I was trying to explain okay. the same. Okay. Thank you so much. So, uh, Mr. Jackson, mustache and beards in Luvale are both categorized as wave. So, wave is just facial hair? Yes, it's a special hair that is found okay. near the mouth here. Near the mouth is wave. Thank you so much. So, uh, shaving beards is kuteula wave. Shaving mustache is kuteula wave in case. Bathing. Bathing, I'm sure bathing, all we know bathing is about bathing the whole body, that's bathing. You can't bath, the, yeah, you can bath it, your legs only, but bathing generally, it's called, it's known to be bathing the whole body, like washing your whole body, that's bathing. So in Luwale, bathing is kusana mu mujimba, kusana mu mujimba, that's bathing, kusana mu mujimba. So that is the bathing. Unless there is any question on this peak before I bring another peak. Mata. Mm. Kusana mujimba. It sounds like bathing in the body. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, I had that bit in the afternoon when I was coming up with this aid. Others were saying kusana hamujimba. Others will say kusana mujimba. They are both correct, but the correct way of saying it is kusana mumujimba. Yes, in English, it should be kusana in the, uh, so bathing in the body. Um, like I said uh, previously, some translation from English to local language, local language to English, they may not be exactly as you are saying it. You find that in English, when you reach in the local language, the, the words also twist. Some words you want you won't use them, you substitute them, you add something else. Also, in local language, when you put it in English, some words you substitute them, you put something else. So that's how it is. So in Lubala we say Kusana Mujimba. Not Kusana Ham. You can say Kusana Ham Mujimba. Yes, the which is correct. Adopted is Kusana. Date from your. You are removing the date from. Moving the date outside the body. I thought inside the body comes outside. Now when you are cleaning, you are cleaning the body from inside, but from inside. So the fact which is accumulated your body outside for you to bathe is coming from inside. Such that now it qualifies it to say, Gunakusana Mumujim, meaning you are cleaning the dirty that is coming out from the body. Are we okay on that, Mama Karu? Madam Longesh. Yes, Mr. Mwale. Ah, Gurina Chihola Mani. On the same issue. Eh, 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 man. Kusana Mumujimba. 
Yes. Like uh, Mama Kara is saying, that sounds like in the body. And I've appreciated you, but I want to find out whether it will still be okay to simply say Kusana, Kusana Mujimba. But thing, the body. Okay. Kusana Mujimba. Kusana Mujimba. Okay. Without mu, without explaining the okay. issue of the sweat coming out and just to simply say Kusana Mujimba. Okay. Okay. Mani. Yeah. Kusana Mujimba. Um, Kusana Mujimba, it can be a bit, not even 50% correct, but just a bit. Kusana Mujimba, but uh, it won't sound exactly in terms of uh, pronounce, pronouncing what you're doing exactly. You can't say Nguna Kusana Mujimba. You can't say that Nguna Kusana Mujimba. No. Nguna Kusana Mujimba, it's more like you're saying I'm bathing water. That's Nguna Kusana Mujimba. You're more like saying I'm bathing water. Now, the Mujimba is now acting like water. So, meaning it, it won't connect with what you're doing exactly. You see? That's why we said Nguna Kusana Mujimba. Meaning, I'm bathing. I'm bathing. Like you are saying that you, it will sound like I'm bathing in the body, but that's not the direct. So that's not the transla translation in English. That would be like a direct translation. But the correct translation is I am bathing. Meaning, I'm bathing the whole body. That's how it is. Madam Longeshi. So what of what of just saying Gunakusana without putting Mumujimba? Would it be correct? Yes. If you say Gunakusana without putting Mujimba, it can be correct. But now uh, it it becomes a complicated issue. Let me say I'm in the bathroom, Gunakusana uh, Kumeso. I'm washing my face. You see? So someone asks me, What are you doing? Gunakusana. That person can't know whether I'm bathing the whole body or I'm bathing just by the face. Okay? Or I'm bathing just by the legs. So that's the reason why they specify, say, Gunakusana Momojimba. You are trying to give exactly what you're doing. So Gunakusana is correct, but sometimes uh, it can be a confusing way of telling someone he or she won't know you are bathing which part are you bathing are you bathing Kai, let me say someone is waiting for you hey madam kara i'm waiting for you what are you doing i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming so we'll be like okay let me just wait for her can she maybe he's just doing uh, he's just bathing maybe just commercial or just by the face someone will be waiting waiting you take key Maybe I was thinking it would take maybe two minutes just bathing by your face. Unfortunately, or oh, unsurprisingly, you go more than two minutes. Maybe you go up to ten minutes. Ah, all that time. No, sorry, I was bathing the whole body, you see? Ah, yeah, I thought I was just bathing by your face. Ah, no, no, actually, I was bathing. So, we, they try by all the means to specify what type of a bathing are you doing. That's why they say, Wakusana Momojimba. It's correct, Wakusana, but sometimes it gives a question mark. Wakusana which part are you bathing? Are we okay on that? M1. Okay, thank you so much. If there will be any other question, we may answer it as we do the revision. Let me take another photo. I'm trying to catch up with time, at least by before 22.30 we are done. <clears throat> Sorry, like I said, my phone does not share more than it one photo so i'll be taking one photo at a time uh -huh. so our second photo is here the question madam carol now can be answered from where we have just come so now um, we have washing the face washing the face that is kusana kumeso kusana kumeso washing the face Kusana kumeso. Washing hands. Washing hands. Kusana kumaboko. Kusana kumaboko. Washing hands. Kusana kumaboko. Uh, I don't know how they pronounce this word, but plating hair or plating hair, I'm not sure. Uh, Mama Karo can read for me. 
<laughs> when it comes to to the revision plating hair plating hair kuvinda jikambu kuvinda jikambu plating hair or plating hair kuvinda jikambu applying lotion applying lotion kuli kuita maji applying lotion kuli kuita maji that's applying lotion kuli kuita maji cutting nails cutting nails kutenda yuala cutting nails kutenda yuala so here cutting is kutenda nails is yuala if it's one it's chala that's nail it's chala but if like many is yuala applying lotion applying lotion applying is kukuita sorry kulikuita that's applying kulikuita you are applying yeah. since you are applying lotion kulikuita lotion is maji La, actually maji um maji there is also cooking oil is also called maji cooking oil is also called maji i will show you some teaching aids which i have for my personal work only i will share with you in the group where i named some products maji in the valley we call it maji akulikuita like lotion sorry lotion we call it maji akulikuita kulikuita that's see like i've said kulikuita is applying applying lotion on your body that's kulikuita so maji akulikuita is lotion then maji akutelekesa like cooking oil it's called maji akutelekesa cooking oil both are called maji lotion and cooking oil they are called maji but uh, lotion is maji akulikuita please mr chiomba if you are still there you help me to write in the chat room so that people are able to to read properly what i'm what i'm trying to put across so that's lotion is maji akulikuita so applying lotion is kulikuita maji applying lotion is kulikuita maji akulikuita you are like repeating the same word kulikuita so that's why i'm just saying maji akulikuita na sorry kulikuita maji that's applying lotion kulikuita maji but if you ask you what are you holding no i'm holding lotion in the valley nangbangi nguli na kukwata oh sorry nguna kwate maji akulikuita i'm holding lotion nguna kwate maji akulikuita meaning you are saying i'm holding lotion lotion is maji akulikuita washing hands washing hands washing is kusana also like we saw where it was saying bathing you see now madam karwa i said when you are saying i'm bathing someone may be confused which part are you bathing like exactly so even in washing uh washing hands is also called kusana ngwa kusana kwa maboko mean i'm bathing uh, so i'm washing my hands not bathing sorry i'm washing my hands so kusana also can be used in washing hands that's kusana another kusana can be used can be used in bathing the same kusana can be bathing the same kusana can be uh, washing your hands then washing the face washing the face kusana kumeso so the same wash the same kusana again is back so you, when you, when you are ngewu lina kusana you have to specify mr chinyemba muli na kusana so muna kusana kumeso nyimbo lina kusana kumahinji nyimbo lina kusana kumaboko nyimbo lina muli na kusana mumujimba so that one can know and is able to tell uh, what you are doing exactly so mukiko mumwane kusana can be kusana kumeso kusana kumaboko kusana mumujimba meaning uh, bathing in, in bathing in, like bathing in your body like we said uh also washing your hands and also washing your face in lwale a kodi usana 
then uh, plating hair or plating hair sorry i'm seeking for your apology or pardoning on the pronunciation of plating hair <coughs> yeah so plating hair is kubinda jikambo jikambo is hair jikambo is hair yeah so kubinda that's plating plating hair is kubinda jikambo so like this photo i've used here we can say nawinji nawinji meaning she has plaited or like she has plaited hair you see because it's already it's already done so nawinji that is it uh, madam karo nawinji jikambu meaning mama karo sorry meaning madam karo she has plaited her hair nawinji jikambu meaning she has plaited her hair that's how it is so cutting nails applying lotion <coughs> washing hands kusana kumaboko washing the face kusana kumeso lighting hair kuvinda jikambu please do we have any question before we go to our examples <coughs> Is that singular for jikambu? Or is just jikambu? Yes. Singular jikambu is lukambu. Thank you for that question. Singular jikambu is lukambu. Lu. L-O-U. Lukambu. That's one. Lukambu. Sorry, my dog. I'm just outside. So my dog is like... Hey. Uh, eh. Sorry, sorry for that. My dog is... I'm, I'm, I'm outside trying to catch up with the network. Since yesterday, there was someone supported with the network. Sorry for that. Uh, so, Lukambu. Yes, Lukambu is one. Jikambu, that's a lot now, or many. Yeah, that's a lot. Lukambu is one. Also, like... Like you see, the type of hair this lady has, has plaited, like you, you call it, what do you call it? Menshi, by Madame Caro. You call it Menshi. Braids. Like at fish tail, those things. So, uh, just oh, yeah, extension. If, if, if you hold one, that long one is the lukam. Yeah, that's extension. That you, if you hold one, you are holding a lukam. Meaning, you unakwate lukam. You are holding unakwate lukam. But if you hold more than two, that's jikam now. Are we okay on that one? Yeah, yeah. Mama Carl. Hey, Mr. Jason, any question? Oh, we are fine. Chiku, chiku. We are okay. I'm going to ask you, hold on, my. Yes, Mr. Mwali. It's, since you've asked, uh, only oni uh, kosana kumumujimbu o kosana mumujimba ya yeah, sorry kosana yes. mumujimba o kosana kumeso o kosana kumawoko yes um nguli na kosana mumujimba yes if i want to say i was bathing or i was washing my face I okay. was washing my hands, so I was. How, yes, how will I say it? Okay, so I was, uh, which is now past tense, you say. Yes. Nguapuanga. Okay. Yes. So nguapuanga kusana kumujimba. No, nguapuanga, you now use N A na. You now use NA. Nguapuangana. So Nguapuangana Kusana. Aha. So Nguapuangana Kusana Mumujimb. Nguapuangana Kusana Kumeso. Kumeso. Yes. Okay. Kusakida my. Kumavoko. Yeah. So Nakusana, it Nguapuangana. When you use Nguapuangana, sometimes it tells that you are telling us something which has already taken place. But if you say 
sometimes can use ku as well uh, like maybe ku you use it on a different uh, type of sentences maybe yeah. but ngopwanga na kusana that is something which has already taken place or it's a past now but ku it qualifies to be something which is happening like a present tense something like that okay uh -huh. looking at my time time check 21:56. okay we'll be within the time i calculated to finish let me add my examples now examples time So here is the, our example, the first set of examples. Mr. Chinyemba, are you still there because your name is trending today? Okay, so the first set of examples, Mr. Chinyemba is shaving beards. Or you can even say Mr. Chinyemba is shaving his I actually omitted his there, but is, I'm sure the sentence is still correct, whether we have put his or not, but I'm sure the sentence is still correct. But uh, those who would love to add, you can add his. Mr. Chinyemba is shaving his beards. That is in English. We are now using our terms we have been looking at. <coughs> shaving. Mr. Chinyemba is shaving his beards. In Lovale, Mwata chinyemba ali na kuteula wevu. Mwata chinyemba ali na kuteula wevu. Mr. Chinyemba is shaving beards. Mulongeshi. Yes, Mr. Jason. If we wanted to add his, would we say Mwata chinyemba ali na kuteula wevu weni? Exactly, you are right. We should add his, meaning we shall all also add when when means his also when you can mean has when there's nothing like when you for a lady and when you for a, for a, for a man no in the valley it's whether a lady or a guy it will be when so it can be when maybe in some sentence when it can be mean a lady in other sentences, when it can mean a man, it depends with the person you are talking about. So, Mr. Chinyemba is shaving beards. Mwata Chinyemba alina kuteula wevu. Two, Likumbi has, uh, this word, uh, I fail to pronounce it sometimes, plaited her hair. Likumbi has plaited her hair. Uh, mama likumbi na winji jikambu jenyi. Mama likumbi na winji jikambu jenyi. So, uh, I want you to, to, to note something here. If you, like what Mr. Jason asked in the first question, in the first example, if we added his, we were supposed to add when You discover that wevu is with the W. Also, when it will start with W, if you note that. Then here also we are seeing that Jikam, it is starting with J. Then symbolizing that the Jikambu is for Madame Likumbi, we are also adding Jenny, which is starting with J. In Unuvale, there is this similarity of where um, the name of something when you are putting a sentence, the name of something, it may also add up to the ownership, the, like the, the, the first letter. The ownership may also be defined. The first letter can be defined by the object you are mentioning. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm, I'm clear on that point. I'm saying in a global, when you are saying something or you are mentioning something, and then you are trying to give ownership of that something. Sometimes the name of that object, the capital letter to the name of that object, 
it gives the ownership capital letter as well, like Jenny and Wenny. It may give the first capital letter as well. It will contribute, it will contribute a capital letter to the ownership of that object you have mentioned. So, not all, but only some. Not all, but some. Like we are seeing here, Likumbi has plat, uh, plated her hair. Mama Likumbi na winji jikambu jeni. That's in the Mama Likumbi na winji jikambu jeni. Uh, this one, this sentence is, is you are telling someone. Or you are, yeah, you are telling someone. It's for tell like. You are telling someone. The first sentence also, we are being, we are telling another person. We are also telling we are also mentioning to say, okay, this one has done that. Mr. Chinyemba is shaving, meaning we are telling that this one Mr. Chinyemba is doing. But number three, <coughs> where Mr. Jason, Mr. Jason, cut your nails and wash your hands. It's more like a command. Yes, you are giving an instruction to someone to do something. So in this case, we are telling Mr. Jason to cut his nails and wash it his hands. So, Jason, cut your nails and wash your hands. Madam Mulangeshe. Yes, Mr. Mwale. Okay, sorry for that. Just to, no, okay, so Jason, tenda vyara vyove usana kumavoko. Would that be correct? I'm following if yeah, I follow. I, Jason, cut yeah. your nails. So just on tender viala viove, usana kumavoko, usane kumavoko. Yes, exactly. Uh, sorry, uh, I omitted yo actually, uh, which is supposed to be added there. Thanks for that notice. Also, usane, usana, sorry, at the end, we're supposed to have e there, not a. Please, Mr. Any teacher around to help me correct that. Usane, not usana. Apologies for that. It's supposed to be <coughs> I'll correct the teaching aid when I post it in the group. Or correct it there. It's it's supposed to be Osani, not Osana. So Jasoni tenda yuala yove. Yes. Yuala yove. See what I mentioned, like the what you are what you are talking about, like the object or the action of something, it may also be, give a capital letter to the ownership. So here, Jikambu, it contributed to Jenny, JJ. Here, Yuala, it, it will contribute to Yove, VV. You have seen it, So there's that uh, similarity of capital letters. Similarities of uh, first letters. So it's supposed to use Yove exactly. Mr. Mwale, thank you for that correction or for that notice. So, Jason. Yes, Mr. Jason. Should, could you also say, Jason, tenda viala viove na usana kumavoko? Do we need to say yes. and wash your hands? Yes, you can do that. You can say, Jason, tenda viala viove na usana kumavoko. Meaning, you are telling him a continuation way of doing things. You are telling him, tenda viala viove, then sana kumavoko. Uh, you are telling him to, to follow suit, like there should be no like break. Like after doing this, exactly do that. But where we are saying, tenda yola yobe usane kumaboko. Um, yes, after doing your, your, after cutting your nails, the next thing should be sana kumaboko. Sometimes you can even, meaning that one, it's giving like a free space of someone to do it even. After a while, just a bit like that. Then, but what you have said is, just on it in the yobe, nakusana kumavoko. Meaning, you are now telling him to do two things. That's what you said, not so? Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. I'm just trying to understand the difference. Yes, meaning you are telling him to do two things. Meaning now we can do it at two intervals, two different times. Like the interval of time can differ the way the sentence has been mentioned. Tendayala yobe nakusana kumavoko, meaning you should do this and do that. 
But when I say tendayola yo usane kumaboko, it's like I'm saying, wash your hands and eat. Yes, Nika, wash your hands. At, meaning after washing your hands, you should start eating. But when I say, sana kumaboko, na la, an, mangana ulienga, ulienga na shima. Sana kumaboko mangana ulienga na shima. Meaning after washing your hands, you yourself now, you have got a liberty to eat shima at your own time. But you, both of the two, you should do them. So the one you said, you should do both, but at different intervals of time. Like you can take the time for you to do the part. But this one I've put here, meaning soon after finishing cutting your nails, you should do what? Wash your hands. Any question? Okay. Mama Karo and Mr. Shinyemba. Any, any questions, Mwane? No question. Okay. Uh, no, no question. Basaku la Mwane. So, our next set of examples, our next set of examples, uh, once again, my phone does not allow to add more than one photo when I'm sharing, in case I'm forced to do one photo at a time. <clears throat> so, our next set of questions. Madam Caro, she's bathing. Madam Caro, she's bathing. Mama Caro Ali Nakosana Mu Mujimba. Mama Caro Ali Nakosana Mu Mujimba. Like we said, you have to specify what you are doing exactly because Kusana. It can be kusana kumaboko, kusana kumeso, kusana mumujimba, kusana kumahinji. I hope Mr. Mole, you know mahinji. You won't ask me what's mahinji. So you can I, kusana I am kum... I am fine. I'm, <laughs> okay, I'm, thank I'm, you. I'm okay. I know mahinji man. Sakila <laughs> okay, for no, man. Just, okay. Yeah, man. Just joking with you. Okay. So you can kusana. You have to specify in the valley. What do you Action I doing exactly. Yes, kusana, it can be general. Kusana, bathing is kusana. Kusana kumaboko, kusana kumahinji, kusana kumeso, kusana kumutwe. That's washing your head. All that is kusana. So, so when you are telling someone in Nuvale that ngulina kusana, like I am bathing, ngulina kusana, you should specify, are you bathing the whole body or you are just washing your hands or you are just washing your legs? So you have to give it. A specific part that you are bathing. So, Mama Karo, she's bathing. Mama Karo, Alina Kusana. Number five, Madam Betsheba. Today I have not. Oh, uh, Madam Longeshi. Yes, Mr. Ban. Yeah, on number four, can we add has? So, will it read Mama Karo, Alina Kusana, Mumujimba, Menyi? Is it going to be many to end? Like Mama following Karo. the Anaku Sana Mumujimba many. Oh, Mumujimba. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. Okay, I get your point. Here yeah. now, oh, you, you are trying to. And, uh, and, uh, and I also want the ownership. To, I also, yeah, I also want the ownership on the number five. To start with the M as well. Yeah. Okay, the ownership on number four. Here now, like I said, not every word or not every part or object you say can contribute to the first letter of the ownership. So in this case now, we can't say Mumujimba many or, yeah, instead we say Mumujimba weny. Why was I saying Mumujimba weny? Because it's, uh, it's one. It's one. Weni, that's one. Meaning, it's singular. Mujimba weni. So, that's why we won't get M to contribute that. And it will not even sound correct. So, Mujimba weni, because, weni, because that is it's like has or his. Weni. Although, in other, uh, if you say jeni, jikambu jeni, 
it's hers, yes, and also his, it can be Jenny. But now, Jenny, it is showing that it's, I can say plural, where it's a lot of it, but when, meaning it's just one, mainly. Where you use when, it simply shows that he was talking about one thing, one singular object. That's where we use when. So, Madame Caro has got only one body, and we can't say uh, maybe Jenny, maybe Mujimba, Mujimba Jenny. No, because he has got only one body. So it would be when that has her body, which is one. Okay, are we okay on that? Yeah, but how do we know she has one body? Because we don't bath with her. Sorry? How do we know she has one body when we don't bath with her? She's here. She will, spe she will testify to that. <laughs> don't worry, Mr. Banda. <laughs> Mr. Banda. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, Mr. Banda, <laughs> take your time. So, uh, number five, Madame Betsheba is brushing her teeth. Madame Betsheba is brushing her teeth. Mama, um, madam and mama, now madam, in Luval we use mama, that's madam, mama. If, if data, data is father or is mister. Mister and father, those are called data or mwata. Actually, mwata is mister, mwata, not data, sorry. Yeah, sometimes you can use data, yeah, data, but the correct word is mwata, that's mister, mwata. Then the mama is madam. That's mama. Yes, but if it's Mrs. Mrs. Like Mrs. Chinyemba or Mrs. Mwale, that way we use it. Yeah. The mama can be used, but you have to add the name of the husband. That's how, so let me not confuse you on that part. We'll come to that sometime later when we'll be looking on other, on other <coughs> salutations. So, Mama, Madame Betsheba is brushing her teeth. Mama Betsheba Ali na kukumba mazo. So here we can use mazo. We can use mazo any. We can use any instead of using many. Like Mwata Banda was asking about ownership. Mazo any. Not mazo, many, no. We use mazo, any. So, like you've seen that is again twisting from what we are just discussing. Yeah, mazo, any. Now, why we are using any uh, uh, is also about the single person. Yeah, is one. So, any, jenny, all those, when, uh, it's about the single person we are talking about here, having the teeth. So, um, Mazo any question number six Mr. Mwale has gone to shave his hair. Mr. Mwale has gone to shave his hair. Mwata Mwale nai nakuteola jikambu jenny. Mwata Mwale nai nakuteola jikambu jenny. Then last but not the least, I'm washing my face. I'm washing my face. Ngulina kusana kumeso. Ngulina kusana kumeso. Mr. Banda is washing his face. Mwata Banda alina kusana kumeso. Mr. Banda is washing his face. Mwata Banda alina kusana kumeso. If I was to add that. The space couldn't allow me that, so I had to omit that. So, I, I'm washing my face. Nguli nakusana. I'm washing my face. Nguli nakusana. So, always take note. When you are bathing, when you are bathing, in Uluvale, bathing, you need to specify. Whether you are bathing, washing your legs only, you are bathing, washing your face only, you are washing your hands only. You are in the bathroom like I can say someone is asking what you are doing. 
oh just a minute i'm bathing i'm coming you should have to specify in lovale whether unakusana kumeso or unakusana kumahinji or unakusana kumaboko or unakusana mumujimba so you have to specify like i said the others can say ngulinakusana hamujimba yes wakusana hamujimba outside your body yeah now others will say now in english to be i'm bathing on body or on my body you see so in lovale instead of saying ngulinakusana hamujimba you say ngulinakusana mumujimba that's how we generalize it so um on recap uh, before, I'll recap, I think I'll start from here again. Look at my time. Uh, at least I've covered the time I wanted to cover. Because yesterday we took a lot of time. So at least today I wanted us to finish first. So um, what I can do is, I won't ask people to read looking at time, I'm sure. But when I send the teaching aids in the group, people can read both in Luval and English. And then they can be sending the voice notes to my inbox. I just check how you are sounding in terms of reading Lovale, how you are sounding, so that we are able to, I'm, I'm able to scale whether you are uh, on course in his pronouncing Lovale words or you still need a push up. So I'll just go through, then I'll, be, I'll go reverse words now. I'll start with this, then to the last one. Reverse my my reverse. So, I'm washing my face. I'm washing my face. Mr. Banda is washing his face. Mwata Banda, alina kusana kumeso. Kusana is washing in Luvale. But you remember washing also from my previous class. Washing was kukosa. When it comes now to the kitchen part of it, washing is also kukosa. If you remember this, I don't know how many are able to record it. Washing is also kukosa. So you, you can't say, ngulina kukosa mahinji. No. Kukosa meaning you are dealing with the clothes or plates or pots, all those things. That's you can do with kukosa. Or a car, that's kukosa. But sometimes uh, others will say, ngulina kusanyisa motok. Ngulina kusanyisa motok. Meaning, I'm washing my car. Like, like you have got a kid, then you are bathing him. So you say, meaning I'm bathing him. So that's other way of using bathing as well. Kusana. Maybe you want to say, no, I'm bathing my boy here. Meaning, you are bathing him. That's the other way we can use kusana as well. In case those who may need the more, more, more examples. So, reverse, mama, reverse. Mr. Mwale has gone to shave his hair. Mr. Mwale has gone to shave his hair. Mwata Mwale nai nakuteula jikambu jenyi. Like I said, shaving hair, others may, may be like, like they, will not, they may not call it shaving hair, as others may take it, ah, shaving is about shaving public hair. But in the general way, English, shaving is about, it could be shaving hair, shaving beards, shaving public hair, all those, it's shaving. So if you say, I'm having my hair cut, yes, it's correct, but the hair cut is the style that you have shaved your hair. That's the hair cut now. That's what I know myself. Unless I can be corrected, I'm not the best. Then, uh, number five, Madam Becheba is brushing her teeth. Mama Becheba alina kukumba mazo. Kukumba, that's the brushing your teeth. Brushing your teeth is kukumba. Um, there's another brushing like you're brushing my shoe. It's not that kukumba sapato, no. Please, uh, don't get me wrong on that one. Brushing your shoe is not kukumba sapato. Yeah, the brushing we are talking about here is the brushing your teeth. That's what we're talking about, not brushing your shoe. That brushing of your shoe, it has got a different name as well. We'll look at it next time. Let me not confuse. 
brushing her teeth, kukumba mazo. Madam Carol, she's bathing. Mama Carol, alina kusana. So, my next reverse, uh, my next reverse chart of uh, revision is this one. Jason, cut your nails. Mata, mata yes, Mr. Mata Ban. Kukuteula, kuteula, uh, Jikambu yes. should be different from Kuteula pubic hair. I think Lovales yes. should have a different word for Kuteula uh, pubic hair. Kuteula pubic hair, yes, it should be. Uh, yes, Jikambu has got its own. Uh, the pubic uh -huh. hair it has got uh, a, a different name of which. He, okay, we shall discuss it later, though not now, or I can inbox you because sometimes, you know, these terms. We may learn them, but sometimes they may sound like uh, shouting. You know what I mean? Like, so just for the sake of respect, I will not say it here, but I can inbox you if you want it. The public here in Luval, yeah. I, I can inbox you if you really want to know it. Maybe you want to pronounce in Luval how what is the shaving public hair. So I pardon since... Uh, as you, I'm sure you are aware that us teachers were very much younger than you. So some terms, we are trying by all the means to avoid them so that we can respect you as our elders despite teaching you. Yeah, so that's why I omitted it not to mention it here. They are children like me, the bank. <laughs> <laughs> so Chilombo is back to make noise, car. <laughs> So, Jason, cut your nails and wash your hands. Jason, tenda yuala usane. Tenda yuala yowe usane kumavoku. Not usana. Sorry for that. Uh, we shall correct that when I post the, the photo. Usane kumavoku. Uh, likumbi. Uh, actually, I wanted to say kumbi, but I was, said, I was told she is likumbi. Because Mr... Is it Mr. M Mr. Banda <laughs> or Mr. Mwale? He said he is, Kumbi has got a lot of shops. He's a business lady. So, Likumbi has plaited her hair. Mama Likumbi na winji jikambu jeni. Her hair jikambu jeni. Mr. Chinyemba is shaving beards or is shaving his beards. Mr. Chinyemba is shaving beards. Mata Chinyemba alina kuteula wevu. So if we put his, meaning you also put weni alina kuteula. So Mata Chinyemba alina kuteula wevu weni. That's about the mamari verse. The, oh, my time has really gone. I wanted to finish before 22.30. Let me see how I can do in these six minutes. I conclude. Uh -huh. So, in reverse, um, cutting nails, kutenda yuala, washing hands, kusana kumaboko, applying lotion, kulikuitamaji, washing the face, kusana kumaboko, plating hair, kuvinda jikambu. That's about revision. I'm sure when I'll post it, you are able to read yours on your own. Like I've said, go through, share with your kids, share with your sisters, share with your brothers. So they're able to know these things. It's very much important to share, at learning to share. Sharing is caring. So if there are any questions also, they can come through the WhatsApp group, then I'll be able to reply, or the teachers also will be able to reply you. If there are any questions that you need to know. Uh -huh. Last but not the least, I've got five minutes before 12.30, so 22.30. Um, my last teaching aid before the list is body hygiene, which was our topic for today. Body hygiene. Kuwahisa mujimba o kulama mujimba. That's body hygiene. And actually, there is shaving hair. Shaving hair, kuteula jikambu. Shaving hair, kuteula jikambu. Shaving beards, shaving beards, kuteula wevu. 
kuteula wevu. Brushing teeth. Brushing teeth. Kukumba mazo. Kukumba mazo. Bathing. Bathing. Kusana mu mujimba. Kusana mu mujimba. That's bathing. For your own information, that one in the photo is Mr. Mwale, who is bathing. I captured him last time when he was bathing. <laughs> so, bathing, kusana mumujimba, that's bathing. So, uh, we have come to the end of our class. Unless there is any question in the next three minutes, which is 12 this class. Do we have any question before I sign off? Pimbi pimbi, ngwasakwe yako. Okay. Mr. Banda, any question before you go? No, thank you. Okay. I'm sure we are all clear. So this is where we end our conversation for today. See you tomorrow. All the best in this class lessons. I wish you a good night. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. That was a very good, good lesson. Welcome, Madam Chlombo. Thank you. I missed. <laughs> you missed, Tika? Yeah, we had no power. Yeah, I understand. You catch up in the WhatsApp group, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, thank you. You are welcome.